Welcome to Campmore. Today we're going to talk about why I love my water bottles. And uh, just to get to know about me, um, my name is Trish. I have been working with Campmore for 18 years. I work in the web department. Um, I have a son who's three years old. We love getting outside. We go for hikes with our hike Campmore team and our hike a baby team. And, um, and we love going to CrossFit. So I love my water bottle for a reason. Uh, I just want to start with, uh, when I started here at Campmore, 18 years ago, I noticed that while I was sitting at my desk, I was drinking a lot of plastic water bottles and I was going through them very quickly. So I talked to our buyer and he said, why don't you try the Nalgene 32 ounce water bottle? And I said, that's great because I drink about 64 plus ounces of water a day. Um, I thought this was a great, great water bottle. It was, uh, at the time, there was no such thing as BPA free. So we didn't have that option, but, um, now all of our water bottles at Camor are BPA free. Uh, this was a great water bottle for me. Uh, I was able to put ice in it very easily. I was able to just put water in it. Uh, however, this, the only problem with this water bottle was that it had a wide mouth. Uh, so I would every time I drank out of it, it would spill all over my face. So went back to the buyer and he said, why don't you get the Easy Sipper? So I said, okay. So we carry these in a large variety of colors. And um, so it was very easy to use. I just put it in the water bottle and it was not a mess. It was great. So uh, I had this water bottle for about three years. And then um, Camelback, I said, I want to try a different water bottle. And Camelback came out with a bite valve water bottle, which is very similar to a hydration pack, which <coughs> is bite the valve and sip and it comes up the straw. This water bottle I thought was great. Again, easy to use, easy to put ice in. Um, there's really no, nothing hard about it. You could uh, clean the valve very easily, which I thought was great. Um, the only thing that I had a problem with personally was that I noticed that it was messing up my teeth. Uh, I drink so much water that it was making a little bit of a gap and I spent too much money on my teeth to have to worry about going back and getting more braces. So I said, I need to go find another water bottle. So I went back to the buyer and he said, we just started carrying Hydroflask. So he's like, why don't you give it a shot? It was an insulated bottle. I've never had one of those at the time. <clears throat> and I said, you know what? I love cold water. Let's give it a shot. So the Hydroflask, um, it wasn't this exact model because the model that I had back then doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but again, it was wide mouth. And uh, it was great because easy to put ice in, kept my drink cold for over 12 hours, and um, it was it was perfect. The only problem I had with this was that it didn't fit in my car, so I had to go back to my water bottles and see what I could do. So years passed, and uh, Yeti came out. So I was like, I really want to try Yeti. I thought Yeti was great. Everyone's talking about it. I wanted to try it. So my very good friend bought me a Yeti, which we carry. Um, it was perfect. It kept my drink cold. It fit in my car. Uh, the only thing that wasn't good about going to the gym with this, it's not really, there's no handle to hold on to. So you're really just carrying it like this. Um, it's also great for other beverages. Um, but it kept your drink cold, easy to put ice in, easy to clean. It was perfect. As time went on, I noticed that the water wasn't staying as cold as I would like it to. So I would put the ice in in the morning and it wasn't cold at lunch. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board with my water bottles. Uh, I loved my Hydro Flask, so I said, I'm gonna go back to my Hydro Flask. So purchased this exact model of the Hydro Flask. Um, it's, I thought it was perfect for me. I have small hands, easy to grip, fit in my car, had a handle to hold to go to the gym or just walk around with it, grab it out of your car when you're holding your child. Uh, you can still put regular size ice cubes in here. I kept my drink cold. My only problem with it was apparently my face because every time I drank out of it, it hit my nose and it would be all over my face again. So I decided, so I went back to the buyer, what can I do? And he said, why don't you try a sport cap? So get more cells, sport caps, easy to put on and made my life so much better. So it was perfect, fits perfectly. Kept your drink cold, awesome. So now, moving on, uh, one of our buyers 
said, Trish, I know you love your water bottles, so I want you to try our new Nathan sports bottles. So he said that the water is supposed to stay cold for 35 hours. I was like, 35 hours? That's a long time to keep the drinks cold. So I wanted to do a test, so I did. I tested it over a weekend. I didn't drink out of it. I just put ice in it, and it actually did stay cold. And uh, so this is currently my water bottle now. I love it. It's actually right here. This is the water bottle I drink out of. Um, fits in your car, easy to use, has a handle. Um, <clears throat> my son loves to drink out of this because of the spout. He loves to chew on it, which drives me nuts. It's probably why I'm always sick. Uh, so this is my personal favorite, the Nathan's water bottle. And a great gripper. And it's a great grip, easy to grip. So my last water bottles to talk about today is the Stanley water bottle. Um, I unfortunately never had the opportunity to try it, but um, I hear great things. It says 36 hours of cold, so I guess the only way I could do this is if I actually test it, um, and we could let you know. But it looks like it fits in the car, it's got the handle to grip, and it's easy to put ice in. So hopefully we'll try it out soon and I can get back to you. So stay hydrated guys, hope to see you back. So just so you know, you can find all these water bottles at our retail store located in Paramus, New Jersey or on our website, www.cantmore.com. And uh, just so you know, today I'm wearing our Outdoor Research Echo hoodie. Thanks guys. See you soon.